Hello, Dylan here, and welcome to my first anime recommendations video in four or five months. When this goes up, it might be five months, but and why not start this off, start this back up with the Persona 5 anime or Persona 5 the animation, I guess is what it's officially called. As you can tell, these are going to be more unscripted. Or just me sitting here talking about what I like about them. Essentially, that's kind of what the anime, these recommendation videos are. It's just me talking about an anime that I like. And with the Persona 5 anime, which is just how I'm going to call it, because it's shorter. With the previous Persona anime, people were often, because I never played the other games, or let alone watched the anime that the previous ones were made, made where when... You know what I'm trying to say there. Uh, so I don't have any experience of that, of experiencing the game and then the anime from the game, based on the game. But I've just heard that the, it's not the, it's not always the best track record with the Persona games. Where it's the game is really great, and but the and but the anime that was based off of it, I think maybe they started in the second game or the third game. I don't know. But they kind of but it was a thing where they kind of maybe messed it up or something. I don't know. They just said that the anime is bad, the game is good. That's how it was always classified, I guess. And with the Persona 5 anime, so I was a bit hesitant to to watch it, even though I really love Persona 5. And with that one, it, it actually surprised me more because I was expecting to be let down, and I wasn't. Because I found it to be really accurate to what the game is like. Not, I mean, it's not like there's not like turn-based things in the in the anime. Obviously, that'd be a bit that'd be kind of weird. But I mean, I mean, anime is sometimes weird, but not in that kind of sense. With the anime, they were able to tell the story pretty fluidly in a way where it didn't seem too much like an anime, but it also didn't seem too much like the game. It was like a good in between, where there are plenty of moments of. Just like where it was more like an anime, like anime cut, like like an anime cut. It was like a long anime cutscene in the in from the game. That's essentially what it was like, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because it also showed off. So some of the good things that it it did was show off some of the different things that happened in in the game, like all the confidence it had. Every confident except for obviously. The new one in Royal because this was made before Royal came out, and it introduced a lot of different things like the that what the uh, what's it called Untouchable, the, that weapon shop. It showed the our protagonist, or I guess in this case Ren, getting job different jobs, and it showed him like you using all these different things that you would that you would normally use in the game, but you don't necessarily always have to use. I mean you. I mean, it would be help, very helpful if you use a bunch of these different things, but it makes the game a bit easier. But you you wouldn't expect that in the end. All these little different, tiny little things. Although the one thing I did, I think I realized I never saw was the buying the lottery tickets. Unless the, unless I missed something in the end. I don't think I've ever did see him like buying a lottery ticket and winning or anything like that. Because cause that's something that I honestly always did and always just like hope to get some extra money the fights surprise and the fights i was curious about how they were going to do the fight different fight scenes like with the bosses and all the different shadows but they kind of went about it in a pretty good way i think because obviously you can't do like a turn-based thing in an anime unless unless you're like Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously <laughs> Where you have to, or it is literally where, or with that, you have to actually have a turn based system. And they didn't have to really show that. They showed, I mean, they, in a way, it was, you can sort of see kind of the game element of a turn based kind of thing in some of the fights. That was also pretty nice to see. Uh, what else? Oh, bringing back the same English cast. Because obviously, because I played the game in English, obviously, and I really loved that cast. So I'm happy that, and that's honestly, I waited until they had that English dub for it because I loved all the diff, all the characters in those in those English voices, and I just I just really really loved it. And it's harder than I thought to do unscripted. I liked how they ended 
the quote unquote season because after that they did two other episodes, two like 50 minute episodes of OVAs to finish off the story. And the way they ended it was with the um, interrogation room. They ended it with the interrogation room moment, which I thought was actually a pretty smart idea because otherwise, how would you get people to continue watching it besides doing something like that? Then having that follow up with the two 50 minute OVAs that finished up the story. The first one finishing it with the first OVA was, I think, for the I forget his name. I totally forget his name. He's the the politicians. Yeah, the politicians um, palace. And then the other one was for the the main final fight or like the big final climactic moment for the game you know fighting a god which that was really that was honestly and honestly they kind of did really good with all of it the animation like i like i said before it just felt like the animation still made me think of it like like i was watching a cutscene in the game like 26 episodes 28 episodes technically of cutscenes and i really really liked it they they handled it really well it's all that's all I'm trying to say is that this one honestly is probably maybe the might be the better one of those of the other ones. I again, I don't know. I have the other Persona anime, and again, I don't know if I've I don't know because really know because I've never actually watched them, let alone played the game. Though I might get the Persona Four on Steam since it's now on Steam for like twenty bucks. I might get that at some point and play that. But honestly, all I'm saying is. If you're if you're one of the people that are discouraged about the the previous like Persona anime, at least give this one a try. Because honestly, I really really enjoyed it as someone who just whose favorite game is Persona Five. So that's it. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Hit subscribe and that bell to be notified of all my future videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope you return for more. Bye bye.